Freddie Bean is a small coffee roaster in Fredericton, New Brunswick. They've specialized in creating barrel-aged whiskey and rum coffee. So before we started Freddie Bean, I uh, was just working a multitude of different jobs. I spent 10 years as a cab driver. Uh, after that, I spent 11 years working in the cell block of the Fredericton Police Station. Uh, I worked for a funeral home and uh, yeah, I just, I, I got tired of working for other people. So I wanted to go into business for myself. I've always loved coffee. So I, I was sitting around one afternoon with a friend of mine. I think I was coming off a 12 or 16 hour shift and I was having coffee with him that morning. And uh, I just said to him, I said, you know what, man? I am really jealous of what you built here. I said, I, I love the fact that you've built your own business and you're now working for yourself. And I'd, I'd love to have that. And he just said, we'll do it. And uh, I'm like, yeah, why, why don't I do it? We both just kind of looked at each other at the same time and said, well, coffee. I didn't want to just do another coffee. So I took a few months and just kind of like looked around to see what was happening in the world of coffee. And uh, we came across barrel aged coffee. Uh, I did a little, you know, I did some research to see if any of it was happening in New Brunswick or Fredericton, and there was nobody doing this type of coffee anywhere in the maritime provinces. The reason we call our company Freddie Bean is because we live in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Uh, and back in the 80s, when the Montreal Canadiens farm team was here in Fredericton, the Fredericton Express, Several of the players would say, I'm going to Freddie Beach. I've been, I've been called down to Freddie Beach, referring to how cold it is here. Uh, so yeah, Fredericton got the nickname Freddie Beach. And uh, as me, me and my friend were sitting around talking about the company and, and I just blurted out, Freddie Bean. Premium coffee is our barrel aged coffee which is the reason Freddie Bean exists. Uh, we have a whiskey barrel coffee and we have a rum barrel coffee. It took us about a year to 14 months to figure out our barrel aging process. But uh, in the five years that we've been running, we're always learning something new. So what makes our barrel aged coffee different than other coffees is that this is a coffee you don't want to rush. You want to sit and enjoy this. You want to enjoy this with friends. You want to sit on the back porch and enjoy the evening. You don't want to be rushing. You don't want to be on your way out the door to work. You don't want to be rushing to get the kids off to school. You want to take the time to sit and enjoy a great cup of barrel aged coffee. So as far as the barrel aging process goes, we always start with a virgin barrel, a brand new barrel. Uh, we take our whiskey. We fill the barrel completely full of whiskey so that all that alcohol gets soaked into the wood. It sanitizes the barrel. And then once the barrel has been hydrated and soaked in whiskey for three or four months, then we take it out and then we put our raw coffee into it. And then that coffee sits in there for an extended period of time, which is kind of our secret. And then once it's been in there, Long enough, we take it out and then we roast it. So this is where we roast our coffee. But uh, this is our little workhorse here. Uh, it's uh, small, but uh, it's, it's done good work for us. We've had it for just a little over two years now and uh, it's almost too small for us at this point. So uh, we're gonna be hopefully saying goodbye to this guy soon and uh, going to something a little bit bigger. So after the beans are roasted, we dump them into the cooling tray. And the reason we want to put them in this cooling tray is because even after you take the beans out of the roaster, they will continue to roast. So once you reach your desired roast level, you got to cool them off. So we throw them into this and we let air be drawn down into the beans and through them and that cools them off and then that will stop the beans from roasting. 
uh, and just uh, obviously the longer you roast coffee, uh, the darker it's going to get. That's your difference between your medium roast coffees, your dark roast coffee. And down here, this is our whiskey barrel coffee, and we roasted this to a medium roast. So what, what, one thing that we get back from people when they try this is that they always, the, the, most, the most common descriptor is that there's something different about this. What am I tasting in this? And where you can, it still very much tastes like coffee. What you're getting is like when these beans sit in the barrels, they're not just absorbing the whiskey, they're absorbing the char from the barrel, they're absorbing the oak from the barrel. So it's very smoky, it's very wooden, it's very rustic. So, and then you get that whiskey finish, you get that whiskey as a finish. So it just complements the coffee. It doesn't overpower the coffee and take away from the natural coffee flavor. I'm hoping that someday I can pass this along to, to my kids. I want them to be able to come into the business when they're old enough. I've got a 12 year old daughter, an 18 year old son. I want, I want this to be something that they can come into, help grow and possibly take it over someday. Ever since I started working for myself, starting Freddie Bean, it's, it's been a constant slog. It's been nothing but hard work. It's been exhausting. Uh, it's been one thing after another, uh, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, for, for as tired as you get running your own business, it's a welcome tired and a feeling like you've accomplished something. Uh, every customer that walks in here and more so every customer that walks in here a second and third and fourth time, it's, it's, a, it's an accomplishment because you've created something that they love and uh, I, I couldn't be happier right now for as exhausted as I am every day. <laughs>